Today in Cool Weekends, we check out the world of scale modeling at the Model Fiesta 39 in San Antonio, Texas. Sponsored by the Alamo Squadron, this event is a huge draw for scale model aficionados of all ages. Vendors aplenty are on hand with thousands of offerings for enthusiasts of all ages. And from what I've seen, if you can't find the kit you're looking for here, it's probably very rare or it hasn't been built yet. But that's not the only feature of this event. It is also a venue for a competition spanning all kinds of genres and themes, which draws both amateurs and professionals locally and from out of state. I spoke with some of them about their individual submissions and what drives them to the hobby. To begin with, the A4 Skyhawk is probably my favorite uh, modeling subject uh, of all time. And then, uh, as far as A4s go, the, uh, the Kuwaiti Skyhawks being uh, some of the last that were actually introduced, and they were actually the very last, uh, uh, the last A4 Skyhawks in flight combat missions ever. So, uh, uh, I thought it was a really interesting subject. Well, it looks really amazing. Uh, I mean, I really appreciate it. And good luck in the competition. Good Thank luck. you. Uh, it's the latest and greatest kit out from Tamaya. I have about a dozen of them, and it's just, it goes together. It's basically a shake and bake box, man. You just add a little bit of glue, no filler, and shake it and goes together great. Man, that looks amazing, man. Thank good you. luck in the competition, man. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. Because I remember the episode Happy Birthday General Lee from the old series. The original, when they first got the charger, it was black. Yeah. <laughs> so I did that, did that, and then I added the orange on top of it to uh, to give it the more accent, the way it, the way it would have been done in a, a quick spray job. So you being a fan of the show, is that what inspired you to create the model? It, it was. Uh, being, a, being a kid of the 80s, I mean, I was born in 78, and the show came out in 79. Uh, you know, my first crush was Daisy Duke. Ah. <laughs> so um, I and I remember I loved the show and I loved the car itself because it was it had its kind of its own personality. Its own yeah. it's it was it was its own character in the show. Yeah, it and, was general. Yeah, exactly, the general Lee. And um, I think that may have been what uh, ultimately fueled my passion for muscle cars. Awesome. So I wanted to uh, to recreate a little bit of my childhood, and uh, uh, the ultimate goal is to have actually one of all of the cars from the show. Wow, so. that is cool. Well, man, congratulations! It's a beautiful model, and uh, good luck on the competition. Thanks right. a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Support. <laughs> Professional artists were on hand to share their tips for obtaining that evocative and lifelike look for a model. One of which was Lynn, whom I had the pleasure of talking to about her work. Uh, all these models here that you see in the very front is by Blackheart Models. You can check them out at blackheartmodels.com. The Hydra that you see in the background is from Footsore Miniatures, which is currently on Kickstarter under Mythic Gods. And so that's pre-release, so you're getting a sneak peek at something before it's even out. Yeah, it's a really awesome model. Jason and Gary. That's right. And so basically, the first one that you see in the front there, uh, where we have Frankenstein extending out his hands. That is a 75 millimeter Frankenstein, but we have nicknamed him on our Twitch stream as Corporate Frank. Corporate Frank. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because he's in it. I painted him in oils uh, using Windsor and Newton oils as well as Optilon 502. And I, what we loved about him was his suit and he's extending out his hand like hi i'm frank i'm here for my job interview you nice go. to meet you so that's how he got his name corporate, corporate frank. frank that makes sense <laughs> the second one is based on universal studios monsters the mummy boris karloff the money the mummy the money the money the money mummy the mummy yeah. The <laughs> yeah pretty much right um so that's a, that's boris karloff and the mummy right there uh that was all painted in acrylics 
the, and then the next, that one also on metalheadminis.com, there's a blog post with a tutorial with the mummy where I showed how to do dead eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I did that. And then the third one that you see is based on HP Lovecraft's The Unnameable. Also a Blackheart Models bust, and that one was painted in oils. Then the next one that you see, also by Blackheart Models, is Killmonger, based Killmonger. off the character from the movie Black Panther, Wakanda oh, Forever. Yes. Oh, wait, yes. no, it's this way. Wakanda. That was amazing yes. work, really beautiful. Thank you, thank And the you. name of your company again? Metalhead Minis. You can find us on metalheadminis.com. Metalheadminis.com, yes. don't forget that. Thank you. This is great. Thank you so much. A recurring theme among hobbyists is military history. The machines of those who answered the call during the most difficult times in history are honored, and their legacy kept alive, albeit in a small way, through the modeler's hand. I had the honor of meeting such men, Mr. Bynum and Mr. Johnston, two of the last remaining Tuskegee Airmen. We talked about how they earned the respect and even friendship of their fellow servicemen during a time of segregation, and how proud they were for having served under General Daniel Chappie James Jr., the first African-American four-star general in the armed forces. Model Fiesta 39 is a grand experience for the avid builder, collector, or artist. With so much to choose from, they can be forgiven for being a little earnest in their acquisitions, like my friend Miguel. So, they are 132nd scale Japanese aircraft. I uh, mainly build 132nd scale M24, but you will find everything here from aircraft, ships, Gundam, you have Warhammer, sci-fi, a little bit of everything in every scale you can imagine. To everyone enamored with the hobby, every project goes beyond the total sum of its parts. To them, their creations are much more than a few bits of plastic, much more than painting or sculpting. It is a way to express their nature, to craft a part of their selves, to show others their motivations, to tell one story. And because every model has a story, the joy of completion is vastly amplified when shared with others. Hey, thanks for watching. There is a link to the Alamo Squadron on the description below if you'd like more information on the event. And as always, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I will see you soon.